Hello everyone, it's Noble Blaster, and welcome to episode number 31 of our Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we went ahead and faced off against Ho-Oh, the mascot of this game, and then we came here to what's technically the Kanto region, and we just battled some trainers and got some encounters. So if you missed out on that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. It's quite the interesting episode indeed, but today, people, today, we are going to be taking on the rest of the people on this, on this route, and then heading through Victory Road. So, yeah, we got quite the packed episode today. So if you guys are hyped for that, make sure you smash like, that like button down below for us. But let's get a quick team recap. Uh, we don't have all of our team members with us today, because, obviously, you know, we have to have someone with us for Surf. But anyways, at first we have Morgana at level 52, our hardy natured Umbreon, holding I'm a coin, rocking a faint attack, hyped up payback, and toxic. We have Sindor at level 51, our hardy natured Rapidash, I think both of these guys are hardy. Uh, holding Karkle, rocking flame wheel, bounce, strength, and fire at the last. We have Yoke at level 51, our bashful natured Executor, holding, holding the Miracle Seed, rocking Giga Drain, Psychic, Sleep Powder, and Worry Seed. Uh, then next we have Tartarus, our level 52, careful natured spirit team, holding the quick claw, rocking Dark Pulse, Shadow State, Kimnos, and Dream Eater. And next we have Levi, level 53, our jolly natured Giara Dose, holding Shell and Bell, rocking Waterfall, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Dragon Dance. And then we have Radical Hero, just for HMs, but our last team member is Duke Lucario, who is, I think he's on the King's Rock, and his moves are Aura Sphere, Iron Tail, Dark Pulse, and Extreme Speed. He's, he's been putting the finest of work for the last bunch of episodes, so that's why that's why I know his moves set so well off the top of my head. All right, you, you came from New York Town, you know, so he's exhausted. Um, uh, not really, actually. I'm also not exhausted because um, I'm literally this is the third episode I'm recording today. Cause the first cause first I recorded the uh, Kimono Wars episode, then a few hours later I recorded the last episode, and then now I'm recording this episode because you know I'm in a recording mood. Okay, so let's go for a faint attack. Yeah, let's go for a fan attack. I feel like, yeah, I will outspeed this thing. So let's go for a fan attack on this Hypno. Um, I feel like Hypno's gonna do something dickish, though. Because Hypno gets to look like that kind of Pokemon. That would, be, that would just intentionally be a dick to you. Called it. <laughs> Called it. Alright, Hypno. Uh, let's go for a fan attack one more time. And that should be the end of your existence. <laughs> should be the end of your existence, my dude. Um, but anyways, how you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Um, what, do you guys have any plans for Halloween? Let me know, because I think this episode, if I'm calculating this right, this episode should go up the day before Halloween. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this episode should be going up the day before Halloween. So yeah. Do you guys have any plans for Halloween? Are you going to be handing out candy? Or are you going out... To get candy yourself? I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna be doing. I mean, I know some... I know there are some older teenagers who go trick-or-treating sometimes, or, or just hang out in suspicious-looking hoodies and look like some sort of miniature gang. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have any plans like that? You can, cause I remember one time I went... One time for Halloween, I went, um... I went to... This is like many... This is like a few years ago, I went trick-or-treating with one of my friends. Uh, well, actually, I went with, with James. You guys know James. Um, this, this is probably, I think this is like the last year I actually went trick or treating, and we kind of went around his neighborhood. And I think I remember, I remember at one point we passed like these, this group of teenagers who, all, who are, I think, I don't know if they were all wearing hoodies or something, or if they were actually in costumes. But either way, they looked sketchy as hell. So it's just like okay, okay. Alright, Giga Drain this Gastrodon. This should definitely be an Oko, because it's quad effective. And if Yoke can't Oko Gastrodon, then I don't know what he's doing, but no, he oko so that's fine. That's good. Good for you, Yoke. Good for you. You Oko'd a quad effective. Alright, Foratress. Speaking of quad effective, guess what we got? Guess what we got for this Foratress. Now, I don't know if I want to risk the Fire Blast miss. So I this thing is known for exploding all over people's faces, so I think I'd rather just go for Flame Wheel. And hope that this kills. I mean, it's quite effective, but I know Fortress does have pretty good defense, so... Uh, okay, O-Code, good. It O-Code, I was gonna say, because also Flame Wheel is a decently low base power. Decently low. 
And you have a Vile Bloomer, right? That's nothing that Sindor can't handle. Nothing that, nothing that Sindor can't handle. I remember I, I remember I mentioned this a few episodes ago, but Sindor's actually been uh, putting in a decent amount of work for for a Rapidash. I mean, I mean nothing against Rapidash, but just I've never used one before. And I never thought it would be, it would put in this much work, especially with Flame Wheel as one of its moves. Like not even like an actual good move, like I don't know Flare Blitz. Then again, Flare Blitz might be a bit risky because there is a recoil. But, I don't know, I mean, if the, if the time comes and we have to learn Flare Blitz, I might just go for it anyways, just because, you know, the power could come in handy, despite the recoil, so, yeah. I'm going to just flame wheel this Vile Plume. That should be dead and gone. Oh, I'm sorry, fainted and gone? <laughs> Alright, that's it for Ice Trainer Arena, okay. 5640, goddamn, and Umbreon wasn't even in that, I know he was. <laughs> KK. I freaking, I literally led with Umbreon. Uh, but anyways, if you want to call me up during my grinding, so I can... I was gonna say grind against you, but then that would sound a bit wrong, so... <laughs> I know pretty much everyone these days is... Then again, pointing out things like that when you're about to say them kind of makes it worse, because, you know, sometimes they might have just, like, not even noticed that you would... <laughs> that you almost said what you almost said, but... I mean, hey. You know, sometimes you gotta be a bit more... a bit funnier in your episodes. Even if it means being a little, um, using a little bit more questionable humor. Anyways, this, um, Fisher guy is here. Uh, are you, if you're gonna have a, a bunch of water types, then I think this might, this might be, um, <laughs> this might finally be Yolk's time to shine. All right, what are you gonna leave? Was that Gyarados? Uh, okay, never mind. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how well Yolk will be able to handle this. We actually don't have anything. I feel like an electric type would definitely help our team. Um, but at the same time, actually, we, we, might, we might also need an Electro type uh, because unless unless uh, Dragano changed something, I'm pretty sure Lance is gonna have a Gyarados. So I definitely feel more comfortable if we actually had an Electro type on our team. Even though Gyarados does get Earthquake, and I, and I would not be surprised at all if Lance's thing had to get Earthquake. But I, I would just need to make sure we had a fast Electro type. But, you know, we don't really have that many Electro types, period, do we? I mean, I know we have a Flaffy in the PC. Um, I'm pretty sure that's about it off the top of my head. So, actually, no, we have a Pikachu in the PC. So, I mean, I mean, Raichu may not be the best electric type out there, but, I mean, <laughs> it's fast, and that's what I was literally just talking about, so, I don't know, I'd have to figure, I'd have to figure out if, um, if an, if an Ampharos would, would be able to outspeed a Gyarados. Uh, but then that, but then that, then that begs the question of who would I get rid of for this electric type? Uh, and, I, and I'm not so sure about the answer to that question myself. Also, that Hyper Beam did literally nothing. Let's show you how much of a Beast Morgana is, and again, Gyarados' special attack isn't all of that, so... Why is Gyarados' level up moveset so weird? I mean, I know it gets, um... Uh, that's an any yoke. I know it's a little bit risky because it is a poison type, but, eh, hey, we got this. Um... But yeah, I know because, uh, Gyarados gets, like, well, we just saw Hydro Helm and Hyper Beam. I mean, I, I mean, Gyarados is one of those Pokemon that has, like, Okay, that would've been quite effective. That could've been scary. Um, but yeah, Gyarados is one of, those, one of those Pokemon that has, like, some really good level up, level up moves and some really bad ones. <laughs> like, Hydro Pump and Hyper Beam, really? I mean, I guess Hydro Pump is Stab, but at the same time, you have Aqua Tail right there, so... I don't know. And also, it also for a while only has, like, Thrash until... yeah. Alright then, let's go ahead and Giga Drain this, this Waylord. When Giga Drain this, this Waylord. Uh, this might take a while, kind of Waylord has freaking fat stacks of HP. <laughs> Alright, we still O-coded anyways, so that's good. Yoke is finally actually seeing some screen time. Uh, I, I, mean, I mean, though, to be fair, the reason why uh, he couldn't before is because, obviously, you know, we had a Dragon Tag gym to deal with. Um. All right. Do I need to heal anyone? Yeah, I need to heal Morgana. I guess I. I thought I, I knew I either had to heal someone or cure a status like poison or something. All right, games. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. You know what? Since uh, uh, no, I was gonna say yeah. Let's just take a picture since it's almost the end. But I just realized actually this is a new encounter. But yeah, I just realized since we don't have a full team anyways, it's kind of pointless. Rapid is here. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, Rapidash is, is, is dupes closed. But yeah, I was gonna say, 
I can't really take a picture because we don't have our full team with us. If we had Lucario with us, then I would, 100%. Um, but anyways, are you kidding me? This is our encounter. I know I, know I saw a sign change. He's about 26. And if for some reason I have the... I, I'm mistaken, then... Really? And if for some reason I'm mistaken, then... I don't even care about losing a skip loom, but anyways, let's just, uh... Catch it anyways, so we can be have dupes claws later on. <laughs> skip loom, the cottonweed Pokemon. The bloom on the, the bloom on top of its head opens and closes as the temperature fluctuates up and down. <sighs> Alright. I'm not gonna name you, uh... Uh, I don't know. Never. Because I'm never gonna use you. You know, I need a grass type, and I have no other grass type to use. <sighs> then again, I, I then again I saw because I saw I I, I decided to look up um because you know we got we caught a Charm a few episodes ago so I decided to look up uh, Charm's base stats and Charm actually has some pretty solid base stats in this game like Dryana boosted uh, its base uh, special attack from 87 to 107 so that's kind of wild kind of wild Meteor Mash okay <laughs> you need to relax meet Matang Claydol's coming in okay. Well, Claydol can catch this dick. Claydol can catch this executor dick. This palm tree dick. Alright, Dusclops is coming in, alright. Um, but yeah, yeah, so Charon got a pretty decent boost to its special attack. So, maybe, uh, Jumpluff, maybe Drowned is the same to Jumpluff. I'm not sure, but, I don't know. Jumpluff would have to be insanely good for me to want to use it. Also, I saw that Magneton, and I would have actually much preferred a Magneton, since I was literally just talking about wanting Electro-types. I know you heal me. Yeah. Alright. Try to friggin' try to friggin' suck me out. It's like, hey, did you really think you'd be lucky enough to find the thing right when you needed it? It's like, yes. Oh, well then heal. Here, here I'll heal you. It's like, oh wow, I actually was right. Focus blast. Okay then. That kinda startled me. Then again, I didn't really I didn't I, I didn't really think it would Oko Morgana. Then again, if it was a crit, it might have, but hey. We don't talk about that. We don't mention that, um, that bad word, this, the C word. Alright, Screech. Mmm. <laughs> We're gonna go, Wee! Um. You see, Screech could be good, actually, because all of our attacks are physical, but at the same time, it's like, uh, I mean, I could get rid of Payback for now. Thing, thing, because like if we can lower our opponent's defense with Morgana, then Morgana can actually put in some work. Isn't payback a TM? I mean, they because if we uh wait, didn't I? Did I? I feel like I don't know. See, I, I don't know. I can't remember what's on my head if we got part, if we got payback by level up or if I actually used the payback TM on Morgana. Because I know payback is a TM. Hmm, I'm thinking. Because if I got rid of any of these units, I would probably get rid of Payback. Because I know it, it can come in, it can ha come in handy if we're slower than something. But at the same time, I just feel like Faint Attack would be better anyways. If we're, if we're going to have Screech, I think Payback would be better anyways. Because, I mean, Faint Attack would be better anyways because it never misses and stuff. And, nor and uh, unless we're slower, it only has like 10, ba 10 more base power than Payback. So I don't know. Or should I just leave Morgana as a bulky defensive? I think I'll just do that. I'll just forget about Screech for now. I was gonna say, I'll just like, leave Morgana as like, the bulky defensive Pokemon that it is. It's turn goes sending it Blastoise. Okay, Blastoise. Um, I kinda had to go into Yoke here. I hope you don't have anything to smack up Yoke too badly. I mean, then again, I think the worst thing you could have is like Ice Beam, which we should be able to take, because I mean, we took one in the last episode, so. Uh, should I go for Sleep Powder first, or should I just go all out? I shouldn't go all out. Yo, oh no. You have Blizzard. That might actually hurt. A lot. Okay, we live it. We don't get frozen. <laughs> Thank thankfully. And then Giga Drain should do a lot to the thing. Ah, uh, barely did Noko. But from here, yeah, we should be able to take a Blizzard from here. Please miss, or you can miss. No, of course you wouldn't miss. You know, I probably would have missed, but he doesn't. Because, you know, why would he? Why would he? For a second, I thought I got a crit. <laughs> I was about to be mad as shit, but you know what? It's, you know, he didn't get a crit, so that's fine. Alright, down goes the Blastoise. 
Down goes the Blastoise. Do you have anything else? You have a Charizard, okay. Interesting. Interesting, you have a Charizard. Alright, well, at least I should be, able to should be able to handle a Charizard. Or I could have been that guy and gone to, uh, Cinder and click Strength. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to. Alright, we lower his attack, even though he's probably going to have more special attacks anyways. Let's go for a Waterfall. But let's go for a Waterfall. Uh, I'm not sure if Charizard has the, has the defensive capabilities to live this. It should kill, though, because our attack is sky freaking high. Let's go, Levi. If only we could have had a Charizard of our own. But nope. Goddamn knocked out. And you have a Meganium, okay. You have a Meganium, alright. Well, Meganium should be no match for Sindor. <coughs> alright. I actually like Meganium Sprite. Alright, let's go for a Fire Blast. We miss. Light screen, oh my god. Alright, King of Plans, we're going for Flame Wheels. <laughs> you had to miss that Fire Blast, didn't you, Sindor? You just had to miss that Fire Blast. You know, I know Sindora has been putting in a decent amount of work, but at the same time, Sindor does miss quite a bit. Um, so, I mean, also... Also, I'm just saying, Sindor, I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying it's your fault, but... If you hadn't gotten paralyzed or missed your Fire Blast back there... Or actually, no, was it a miss? Was it a missed fire blast? I don't think it was. I think I, I think we just got fully paralyzed a bunch of times. But if you hadn't gotten fully paralyzed back there against Jasmine, Cam could have lived. I'm just throwing that out there. Just throwing that out there. And by and by extension, Dusty would probably still be alive too. So yeah. Again, against the door, not not necessarily saying it's your fault, but just throwing it out there. All right. Um, I'm gonna level 53. Do I want to leave more gone up front until level 55, or do I want someone else? Uh, step up. You know what, let's, let's put Sindor up front. Let's put Sindor up front. Alright, Sindor. You better not, you better, you better not disappoint me in these upcoming battles. Uh, is there anything over here? I think this is just like a one-way thing, yeah. And I'm pretty sure there's an item back there or somewhere, but yeah. Alright, let's go and take on this guy. We're almost done with this area. And then we just have to make our way through Victory Road and then face, to get, face off against our rival. One last time in this region. It's Center of Gavin. So Ambipom. Alright, Ambipom. Alright, Ambipom. Um Flame Wheel. Let's flame wheel Tay Heck out of you. I know Ambipom's pretty frail, so this might Oko. Then again, Flame Wheel isn't the in the strongest move, as we stated. It doesn't kill, but we do get the burn. You have Thunder Punch. Okay, Ambipom. Okay, Ambipom, you have Thunder Punch. Interesting, though the crit too. Uh, burns do burns do wonders, don't they? Burns do wonders. Burns do wonders to the to the attack that, don't they? All right, Ampom goes down. Uh, we go to level fifty-three. All right, not bad, Sindor. Not bad, Sindor. Almost the entire team is level fifty-three now. Rampardos is coming in. It's a yikes. Okay. Um, hopefully Yolk can handle this thing, cause we don't really have anything else to handle it. I guess realize you have a lot of Pokemon. Okay. This is going to be an interesting battle. You have Mold Breaker, okay. Uh, let's go for Giga Drain. I know Ramparos is not the best defenses ever. And we actually have pretty solid special attacks, so please, Oko. Yes, thank you, Yoke. Thank you, Yoke. Alright, so Ramparos goes down. Alright, what else you got? What else you got? A Porygon Z. Interesting. Alright, let's, uh, I think Tartarus can handle this. I think Tartarus can handle this. Alright, Porygon Z is coming in. Hello, Porygon Z. It's exerting our pressure, of course. Ice Beam, okay. Alright, Ice Beam. Um, we should be able to eat this up. That was a crit. Okay. Alright then, Porygon Z. You need to fucking chill. And that did, that did exactly half. Oh my god, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, okay. Okay, then. Well, as long as you don't get another crit, we should be able to eat up another Ice Beam. Consume another Ice Beam, or a Thunderbolt. Okay, well, Thunderbolt has, like, doesn't that have the exact same base power as Ice Beam? So... Okay, you didn't get a crit this time. <laughs> Let's hit him up with a nice Dark Pulse. Goes for Thunderbolt again, okay. Alright, Porygon Z. Alright, we eat it up again. Go for Dark Pulse. Please, no minerals. 
Of course! Since I talked about a mineral, of course we would get a mineral. <sighs> I'm speeding up. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Thunderbolts again, alright. Ice Beam, Dark Pulse. Mmm, alright, what else you got? What else you got? An Ampharos? Alright, Ampharos. Um, I guess Morgana. I guess Morgana. Let's go for Toxic. Focus Blast, okay. Okay. Um... Go to Sindor. Focus Blast, you missed. Thank you. Fire Blast. Focus Blast versus Fire Blast. And you missed again. God damn. That's a poorly trained Ampharos. I right, go for Fire Blast on a Sceptile. Oko. And then for Ice Trainer and Gavin. Alright. He's gonna ask for our number. Okay, so we can go and battle him during grinding too, maybe. Um, but first things first, I wanna go back and heal, because that guy did a number to our team. Alright. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put Yoke up front. Because Yoke's, Yoke's the only one who hasn't hit 53 yet. And also, you know, we need... I still want to see more screen time for Yoke. Alright. Uh, Ludicolo. Alright, we should be able to handle Ludicolo. You have Blizzard. Okay. That's kind of frightening. Can you miss a Blizzard, please? Or do you just freaking slick that into Luxray? Right? Which is dark tape in this game and has Crunch. That's a little scary. I think I'm going to go into Sindor for this. Because, I don't know. I feel like Sindor can handle this thing. <clears throat> I just feel like Sindor can handle this thing. Go for Protect. Alright then. Alright then, go for Fire Blast on this Luxray. Um... I feel like this isn't quite gonna Oko. Yeah. And you have Crunk. Yeah, that is, that is Stab. I'm pretty sure a 99% sure in this game you are a Dark type. You do get Burned though, okay. Uh, are you gonna have Guts though? I mean, it doesn't matter, because we outspeed you, and Flame Wheel does the darn thing. So, goodbye, Luxray. Goodbye, Luxray. I wish we could have had a Luxray. That would have been a dope-ass Electric to have. And I know we could have had a Luxio on one of those routes. Uh, Ludicolo's coming back in. Okay, um... Hmm... Hmm... I can't leave Sindora, because it is a Water-type. Uh... I guess I'll just go into... Tartarus, I guess. I'll speed up, because this might take a bit. I mean, he's already at half HP. Let's just go for a Dark Pulse. Alright, Shadow Snake should kill this thing. Alright, what else you got? A Blaziken? Another Pokemon I wish I still had, but... <laughs> whatever. Alright, Oko the Blaziken. Alright, let's go for H-Kin or Jake. Alright. Let's go and heal up. I'm, I'm starting to speed up a bit more now, because I... Uh, so we are at 20 minutes, and we still do have Victory Road to take care of. Um, so yeah, we have one more trainer to deal, to deal with. Alright, what are you gonna have? A Tauros? Oh no. Oh no. Double egg. Oh no. Okay, we, we eat it up. Alright. Double egg. Oh, okay. Okay. We barely love that. Medicam's coming in. Alright, Medicam. Uh, meet Tartarus. Meet Tartarus. Catch a Shadow Sneak. Catch another Shadow Sneak. Goodbye, Medicam. What else you got? Oh, that's it. Alright, dope. Alright, another po another person that wants our number. Okay. Uh, okay, there's an item here. What is that item gonna be? A Max Elixir. I'll take that. Alright, I can go back to heal one last time before we dive into Victory Road. Because I know Victory Road is going to take very long, if there really aren't any trainers in it. And if there are, for some reason, if Grayana did something in this game, then... I guess it's another episode! <laughs> Alright, yep, we have the 8 bags of Goto, please proceed, alright. Victory Road, alright, we have... an encounter to get here, before anything else. Survey says, an Earth Ring, okay. I mean, that's not terrible, I guess. I can see if I put you to sleep first. Uh, I don't know if I can. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna try throwing balls and over the best. All right. Wow. First ball literally did it. Nice. All right. Earth Ring's dial side of the Pokedex. Earth Ring, the Hibernator Pokemon. Although it is a good climber, it prefers to snap trees with its four legs and eat fallen berries. All right, Earth Ring. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to name you because you are female. You are female. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking emoji. Uh, so I'd have to be one of those things where I could look at something in my room and just pick something out and name you. Um... Hmm... What does this mug say? Hmm... I, I, I don't know, I, I, I got nothing. Um... Uh, I guess I'll just name you. Actually, no, I, I actually, no, I, I, I have a name for you. I'll, I'll go and name you after the one I have in the soul and I'm doing the Toro. Well, I don't technically have an Ursa ring yet. I have a Teddy Ursa, but hey. 
Hopefully one day it'll, it'll uh, evolve into an Ursa Ring. Uh, actually, it's pretty close to evolving into an Ursa Ring too, I think. It's like, I, I, I think right now we're at, we, we have our uh, teams at, 30, at uh, 25. So yeah, it's pretty close. Anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna go and slap on some repels for the rest of this place. Okay, there we go. I guess I know we had repels. I know we had repels that over from uh, the bell tower. All right, so we're gonna slide through here. All right. Uh, we got an item here. I don't know what's that gonna be. A potion. Why is there a potion in Victory Road? It's like, it's not even a good potion. It's just a regular fucking potion. Why is that in Victory Road? All right. Protector, okay, in case we ever get a ride on. In case we ever get a ride on and we want a Rhyperior, then that's right there. <laughs> Alright, um, how do I do this? I think I just push that aside. And scoop up a Max Revive. Alright, that's more money. That is more money. Money, 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 money. Alright, uh, I feel like there's something this way too, because I feel like they wouldn't just have that there, just because. Is there literally nothing? Is there literally nothing here? Did I literally just, I mean, why would they have a strength rock there, though? Just for the hell of it? They literally just have it there just for the hell of it. I guess they did. Alright, is there anything here? I'm just looking, I'm just looking at all the little crevices. Yo, can you move out of the fucking way? I'm trying to look in here. No, nope, nothing there. Alright. Alright, let's again get the heck out of here, then. On to the next floor. Alright, uh, we can't go that way yet, of course, so we have to go this way. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and slide over here. I'll probably worry about most of the items here off screen. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, let's climb this ladder. Uh, okay, now we have to fill down this hole. Um, Alright, so now I have to go up this way. And push this strength rock. I'll probably speed up while we have to use strength, because, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and push this over here. Then move around here. Get this item, which is a full restore. I'll take that. Probably need to buy some full restores before the Elite Four anyway, so yeah. So, yeah. Alright, what else could we have had? We could have had a Graveler, alright, you know, I, I, I'll just beat this thing up. Just cuz. Just cuz. Cuz I can. Cuz I can. Alright. Let's go and slide. I don't think we have to go in, in, into this one. Uh, I think, okay, there's an item here. Okay, I don't want to smash anything yet. Okay, we have an Ultra Ball, okay. That could come in handy for Kanto, even though we already have, like, a bunch. Oh! Nurse Joy is here. Uh, I, can't, I think it's this one that we're supposed to go into. Yeah, it is, okay, because we get an item from here. Uh, that item is an HP up, alright. Alright, dope. Dope, alright. Actually, I think, I think that was what I was talking about when I said I'm not going to go out of my way to get items, but I think we literally had to get that item anyways. Oh, a trainer, you might already be close to letting me refresh your fighting spirit. Alright, thank you. I mean, I literally went back to heal before this, but I mean, okay. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if we uh, slide our way over here, is this it? Or is it... Okay, it's a rare candy. Alright, I'll take that, I guess. Um, but yeah, I know somewhere around here, I'm pretty sure it's down here, is a very special item. Or a very special TM, should I say. And I think it would definitely be helpful for one of our teammates, at least. I'm not sure which one at the moment, but... We got TM26 for Earthquake. Earthquake, my dudes. Earthquake. Dope. Alright. Let's go ahead and slide over this way. Because before the episode's over, we're going to have a bit of a longer episode this time, but that's okay. Because, lo and behold, look who shows up. Do, 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 do. Hold it. Are you going to challenge the Pokemon League? Victory was at then for sure. But did you notice you didn't see any real trainers? I didn't see any trainers at all. Man, they were all spineless. Well, the fact that you've come this far means you're not one of them. But, your journey ends here. Because right here, right now, I will crush you. I don't know, that just sounds so eggy. <laughs> I will crush you. Uh, but anyways. So yeah, this is the final... Well, it's not, it's not quite the final battle. I think this is like the second last battle overall. Because then there's one battle with the rival in Kanto. But yeah, this is the final rival battle in Johto. I mean, he leaves the Honk Crow, which uh, kind of scares me. Because... Well, I have... Uh, see, so there's no way I can stay in. Because this thing buys me no matter what. But if he has Pursuit, that's still going to hurt. But I, either way, my best choice is to switch out. But who am I switching into, is the question. I think, uh, I think Levi is my best bet for this. I mean, luckily Foul Play doesn't exist in this game yet, so, yeah. I mean, we, I, also, we can intimidate this thing, too, which is good. Then again, if he starts getting crits, then that's just gonna cl completely ignore that. And he has a nasty plot, which is also scary. Are you a special honk crow? 
Or are you going for Nasty Plot just cuz? Let's go for Ice Fang. Cuz I just want to get damage on this thing. And I don't think Honcho, <laughs> Honcho certainly isn't the bulkiest Pokemon out there. So... I didn't quite kill. The freeze, though. Okay. Alright, I'll take the freeze. He thaws out immediately, of course. And he goes for Nasty Plot again. But we outspeed. And from here, I'm pretty sure anything will kill. So let's go for a Waterfall. Because I know Ice Fang has like a 5% chance to miss. And I ain't risking that. It's actually really does have something like Dark Pulse or something, and he's like plus three. Or plus four, actually. Alright, so Yoke gains exactly a thousand experience, nice. Alright, what else you got? A Gengar, oh boy. Alright, let's go to Tartarus. Cause I feel like this thing's gonna have like Nas- I mean, uh, Focus Blast or something for Morgana. So I think Tartarus is definitely the safer bet here. Alright, Gengar. Gengar. You look at Gengar. Gengar's actually a really cool Pokemon. He has Shadow Ball, okay. Um, please tell me we can take Shadow Ball. And we're four levels above you. Okay, we take it, but we got a special defense drop. Okay, well, hopefully this Dark Pulse does enough to put him in range of Shadow Sneak Killing. Hopefully. Orchestrate Oko's! God damn, I was underestimating Tartarus the entire time. I mean, we, I mean, to be fair, we do have a special defense, special attack lowering nature, but still. You have a Kingdra, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, well, I guess I'll go into Levi for this. I guess I'm going to Levi for this and try to do the same thing I did against Claire's Kingdra. Uh, which would be Dragon Dance, of course. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't have anything too uh, scary. Uh, I, I, may, I, I may need to speed up while I Dragon Dance, because, you know, I don't want to stay here all day and night. Alright, Dragon Dance again. That's plus two. Well, plus two, alright. Uh, I think that should be good. Oh god, no. I don't want to throw... I don't want to throw an Ultra Ball at this thing. I just want to heal Levi. Because we are in range of one more dra Dragon Pulse killing us from there, so I'd rather not have that. It's going to heal up. Um, you know, for Dragon Pulse again. Okay, that's fine. We can take that. We can take that. Uh, and then I guess we'll just go for a Crunch, I guess. We'll just go for a Crunch. Hopefully a plus two Crunch does decent damage. I'm not going to go to the trouble of going all the way to like plus three or plus four, because... I don't know, I just don't really think it's worth it. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit a little bit of HP back with that. He has a yawn on his Kingdra. Okay, Toro. I mean you know what? You do you, dog, you do you. Alright, crunch this thing. Crunch this thing. So that's a like dead Kingdra. So that's half his team down, I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure he has a full team of six. I mean it, it would be weird if he didn't, right? So yeah. It's half his team down. Uh that might actually be level 54 for Levi, goddamn. Gigiti, goddamn. Alright. We're gonna fall asleep, but that's okay, because your next Pokemon is a Magmortar. I mean, I'm kind of sad that we have to switch out after plus two, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure Magmar gets, like, Thunderbolt and Thunder Punch. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if his had it. Uh, I'm not sure who to go into, though. Um, I know I it gets Focus Blast, too. That's why I'm kind of le leery about sending in Morgana. I could send in Sindor, actually, and go for a Rock-type Strength. Let's do it. It's, uh, it's quite literally fight fire with fire. Except not really, because we're using a Rock-type move. But you know what, hey. Fire-type v. Fire-type. Let's go for a Strength. Let's go for a Strength. I guess it's Bag Mortar. Uh, which should be at least a 2 KO. I mean, I know it's not Stab, but at the same time, yeah. It's a 2 KO. Alright, what are you going to go for? Thunderbolt. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. And I would have had to take the, t take the turn to, to wake up Levi, and a Thunderbolt would have freaking... Would, would, ha would have most definitely demolished us. And I ain't about that. Because, you know, for, first of all, I'm trying not to lose anyone before the Elite Four, because that would that'll just be more grinding for me. But, um, for another thing, I don't want to lose Levi, because no, Levi has a fucking amazing moveset. You have Meganium, alright, Meganium. Uh, we should be good here. Uh, we should be good here to go ahead. Oh, you're level 53, okay. Okay, uh, I kind of want to heal. I, I don't know what you're going to have. I feel like you're gonna have some sort of way to fight back against fire types. And I wanna be at full HP for that. I fucking know you have Earth like, oh boy. I mean, I don't think your attack is that great, cause you're the you're the more you're the more defensive starter, but at the same time. Oh my god, that is so much. Okay, um I think I have to go into I'll go into Yoke here. Cause Yoke should be able to handle this thing, cause. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I might take a bit with Psychics, but I know this thing, this thing resists Earthquake, for one thing, and also resists any stab from this Meganium. 
Uh, I don't think anything, I, mean, I, I can't think of, really think of anything off the top of my head that McGinney would have that could really fuck up Yoke. Plus, Yoke is like su super close to getting a level up, and you go for Reflect. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I guess you, I, you don't know if I, I guess you might think I have Wood Hammer. I don't even think I have Wood. I get Wood Hammer. Yeah, I think we did face an Executor in the last episode that had Wood Hammer. So, I don't know. Seed Bomb. Okay. Alright, you have Seed Bomb. That's literally doing next to nothing. So, wait, you have Seed Bomb, Earthquake, Reflect. I guess you don't have Light Screen, because I'm, I'm assuming you would have used it just now. So, what's your last move? I guess we're not. I guess the world may never know. <laughs> the world may never know. Alright, we eat up a seed bomb. Smack on the nice psychic. This should kill. Getting for max the first two did. Yeet. Alright. So what's his last Pokemon? Actually, I'm pretty sure I know what his last Pokemon is. I don't think we've already No, I don't think we've already beaten it. I'm pretty sure I know what his last Pokemon is. And Cinderella hits level 54. Not bad, not bad. Yep, it's the Alakazam, okay. Uh I think the only thing I can really send in here is Tartarus, because I'm 99% sure you're gonna have Focus Blast. And you know, taking a focus loss from a Raikou is one thing. Or an Ampharos. But taking it, taking it from a Pokemon that actually has really amazing special attack, that's a whole other story. Uh, I think I do want to heal up, though, just to be on the safe side, because I'm not sure what else this thing would have. It probably has Psychic Focus Blast, maybe Energy Ball, and something else. It has Energy Ball, okay. I am saying that because I remember we faced an Alakazam in the last episode that had, it had Energy Ball. So that's why I was thinking Energy Ball. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I think I should have to go for it. I think I should go for a Shadow Sting and hope for the best. I should go for a Shadow Sting and hope for the best. I mean, Alakazam is a, like, terrible uh, defense. I didn't... Oh my god. That did, that literally did nothing. For a Shadow Sneak from a Spirit Team against an Alakazam. Okay. Oh, the Reflect is up. That's fine. Okay. Uh, do I want to put it all on the line? Do I want to put it all on the line? I don't think I I, I don't I, I can't I, I'm sorry I would love to to make it more interesting but I just can't I I I literally just said I'm not trying to lose anyone in this battle because that would just be more grinding for me to do and I, I'm, I'm probably gonna already have to do a decent amount of grinding as it is so I'm pretty sure even with minus one special defense we can take an energy ball from full okay yeah we can take one go for a shadow sneak with the reflect gone this should kill from here. Let's go. <sighs> okay, we made it. We made it through that battle without any casualties. And Tartarus is so close to 54. Oh boy, I feel bad. Alright, I'm not even reading this. I don't know why. Alright. I haven't given up becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. I'll beat you down with all my power. <laughs> if you keep at it until then. Alright, you can do the fuck out. Alright, cool. See ya, Toro. Alright, Todd is calling me. What do you want, Todd? Do you want a battle? You must be a lot better now, huh? Yes! Okay, so he'll, so he'll be good for grinding. Um, but anyways, you know, I feel... I, oh, oh boy, I did not realize we were that long in the episode. Okay, well, um, I just want to do something real quick. We're gonna have a 40-minute episode, I just realized. Okay, at this rate. Because, oh, we have a fuck up. Okay, well, what, I mean, a rappel up. Alright, well, I, I guess I'll just um, <laughs> do that in grinding. Um, but anyways, okay, rappel we're off now. Um, I guess I have to heal now, and I'll go ahead and get, get I'll go, I'll go and get Duke back, and, alright, oh, let's have a look at our other guys first, we have a Modest Cloister, well, it'll be, it will be a cloister if we ever use it, that's not bad, actually, a Mild, uh, Mild Floatzel, Quirky Seeking, and Adamant Jump Luff, Adamant Jump Luff 2 OP, alright, let me go ahead and grab Duke here, and put back Mantike, and, in the next episode, it's time to take on the Pokemon League. So if you guys are hyped for that, and enjoy today's almost 40 minute episode, make sure you smash the like button down below for us. But I'll see you guys next time, where we will start taking on the Elite Four of this game. And boy, am I nervous. And, eventually, soon, we're also gonna get an opportunity to face off against my old nemesis. But that'll be another day. But with that, I am Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye bye